am I Ukrainian? This is an interesting question. Um, I, my family has been in America for over 100 years. In fact, we celebrated our 100 years last year. Um, and so uh, we were Jews from that area. And I'll say that area because I'll explain. My great-grandfather fought in World War I uh, against the Americans in the Galician part of the Ottoman Empire. So 100 years ago, Ukraine and Poland were part of the Ottoman Empire, uh, which then fell in World War I. And my family left immediately after World War I. And so we were gone by the time that Hitler came around and then wound up killing all of the Jews in the town that my family was from. You fast forward 100 years forward, and it was just the craziest thing. So I had done this whole Ancestry.com. I have all my ancestors, like going back to my great, great, great parents, grandparents, um, where they're from, the whole story, everything like that. And we always say that we are Galician because during the Ottoman Empire, we were Galician and their Galicia had a, it was its own country, part of the empire. Um, and, uh, you know, just, just a, a fascinating story as to how that whole community was built and, and everything. <laughs> but, you know, I was on the phone talking to parts of my family and, you know, I just said, you know, well, why don't I go into Google Maps? Because if you go into Ancestry.com, they'll show you the map of Galicia. They'll show you the story of, of Lviv, which is, you know, so I'm we're from Lviv. We're from a little town outside of Lviv called uh, Mikilinets. Um, it's, it was very heavily populated with Jews. Now, now it's not. Um, but uh, when you look up Lviv on Google Maps, which I hadn't done, it just wasn't part of the Ancestry.com thing that I was doing, uh, you wind up in Ukraine. So, <laughs> so my, my interesting side to this whole war is that technically now, if you ask me what I am, it's a complicated story where I have to say to you that I am ethnically Galician. Galicia doesn't exist anymore, and we are now part of the Ukraine. Uh, so I am Ukrainian. So uh, this war has been uh, very challenging for me uh, and my family, as well as many others. But, uh, you know, we are in full support of Ukrainians. We are Ukrainians, and we would love now that we understand where Lviv is and where Mikilinets is. Uh, to once this war is done to go back and really do like a full history and find my great 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 grandparents you know uh, you know birthplace death place schools all that stuff uh, but I just wanted to kind of tell that story uh, maybe we'll submit this over to ancestry.com we'll uh, once the war's over we'll get a camera and go over there and make a little documentary yeah, fun cool. story right it is. It is like you never know where you're, what's your background until you actually start doing some digging and and, and research. Um, Have you ever done it? Have you ever done any of your research? My my family uh, has like a ancestral tree. I don't know if you say that in English. Uh, yeah. like a, so we know kind of where we what a background is. Um, How far back can you go? I think it's like a it's a great 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 grandfather or great 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 grandparents something like that um this so is it, some, it like 1900s or 1800s more like late 18s maybe i think it's just yeah i think we have like some italians in there and i don't know but this i would have to look at again um yeah. but it's fun it's fun to look it at yeah, I mean, it's wild, especially, you know, during this war when everybody's focused on that particular area um, to understand, like, you know, what the history is there. Because if you look at it, you know, just from Russia invading Ukraine, you don't really get the, uh, the, 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 uh, the whole picture that this part of the world 
that whole line, the Baltic states down to Ukraine, all of that was really the separation of the Russian Empire and the East. And, you know, it was constantly, you know, I have stories. I knew my great, great grandmother. I knew my great grandmother. Um, and she read seven, she's read and spoke seven different languages. Every day she would read six different or five different newspapers in different languages. And so she said that uh, her area was constantly under different rule. She was, you know, uh, Poland was, was challenging that area. Uh, Russia was challenging that area. She has a, she told a story about the Cossacks and, and what they did to the town and what they did to some family members. Uh, very interesting uh, history to understand that that area that we're looking at now, uh, Ukraine, has always has always gone under war, has always been contested in different parts of the east and the west of Ukraine. It's it's a fascinating story. And it's always very interesting to be able to bring it back to a personal level, right? The war now means something because I know that we are from Lviv, Mikilinets, uh, right outside, right on, right on the border of Poland, right? Uh, that that was a Lviv was just recently attacked, fifteen miles close to the to the Polish border. Uh, it's a serious situation. It's a very, you know, people are dying. It's a very sad situation, but it's very interesting to be able to connect it to your own personal life. No, I agree. It's just, it just, uh, it's, it's a difficult time right now. Um, I hope it's going to get resolved uh, in a good way. Uh, but it, it's sad to see that in the, in the 21st century, we can still like, they, they still like, stuff like that happening we thought it was behind us after world war one world war two and and what's happening right now is just yeah, it's terrible to watch yeah yeah